Well, getting pretty busy. Yesterday was Sunday. Uh, I was on um, on the old marketplace on Facebook and uh, saw a yard sale. And uh, one of the pictures was a little bit blurry, but had this Ford Focus. Looked like it said fifty dollars in the sign, so I commented. Turns out, huh, fifty bucks. Yeah, they sell them for 50 bucks up here. Running and driving Ford Focus. It's got 221 on it for miles. She's uh, pretty grimy. Runs pretty good. This lady says that uh, it's got a constant some kind of shimmy going on in the rear pretty common for these probably the rear control arms rusty bushings are probably gone but they were driving it the plates were still on it and uh, it turned into an extra car for them I guess and she was putting the uh, just changing the front tires to the rear and then once they would wear out you just get some uh, new ones and keep on going like that so um, her son I guess uh, had some medical problems and they were having the yard sale uh, to kind of raise money to I don't know just sort of make him happy and he can buy a buy a few things probably some video games or something that he wants but um, so I was happy to about 20 minutes from here, so I just went down and gave him the 50 bucks, took it away. And, uh, yeah, can't go wrong for that. Then, uh, I was talking to a guy on uh, Saturday. He's, uh, just down the street a little bit. And, uh, He's got a whole bunch of shit he needs out of the way. A whole bunch of scrap. All sorts of stuff. And uh, he's just happy to get it out of there. He's going to say he's going to help me. And uh, all types of stuff. Furnaces and washers and dryers and all kinds of good crap. So he's remodeling the house and uh, needs it out of the way. So, made a plan to go down there today and uh, clean it all out. So, see what he's got. Nobody ever leaves you with any gas. Never get any gas. Pressure 185 just broken in.
Oh yeah, you hear it? You hear that kick in? That's the ice. The ice is coming. So I got a few things, a couple of washers, fridge, and a water heater with a bunch of copper hanging off of it, brass. Uh, so, guy's got a lot more. He's got a awful dirt floor basement, and uh, it's a bunch of boilers down there, and electric wood furnaces, and uh, some big shit in the... The thing is, is the stairs coming out, uh, not very good, uh, pretty rickety, and uh, the first stair is like, uh, almost like two feet from the ground, so there's not even anything, you can't even like get the, the wheels on the first step, you know, to get it up there, so um, I said, you know, I, I really... Uh, <clears throat> want to take this stuff for you and he said no no he said I'll get uh, I'll get a couple of my buddies over within the next couple of days and uh, we'll get the shit out of here for you and uh, make a ramp or something and just get all of it because he wants to get it all out of the way uh, he's trying to clean up and rent you know renovate the house and stuff so so that'll be good I just got to wait and hear from him and I was also talking to him uh, I was talking to him about uh, simple uh, trash removal, and as I was saying uh, the other day, up here, you know, you just get a sticker for your truck, and it's just uh, 20 bucks for the year, and you just take uh, all your shit to the dump yourself. They don't have trash pickup of any kind. Uh, where I came from, you had to buy bags, the town bags and stuff, and um, put all your trash in those and put them out to the curb, so... Um, so I was telling him all about that, and, uh, he came from Pennsylvania, he just moved up here, and, uh, bought the house and stuff, so, he was saying that, uh, when he first got here, he, he uh, looked up, uh, trash removal, and there was a guy, just with a truck like me, who was doing it, and, uh, he just had a schedule where he just picked up trash from people, like, you know, whatever day of the week they wanted, you know. Um, he would just set up a schedule and <clears throat> just charge them accordingly to, uh, how much they got and stuff. And, uh, he said the guy was making a killing. <clears throat> he actually refused him. Uh, he said he couldn't even take on any new, uh, pickups because he was too busy already. He was busy every day of the week. So, and he said that he was the only guy around that was doing it. So you know what I'm thinking. I might have to uh, start advertising a little differently. And uh, plus, if I was going by to pick up the trash, I'm sure that they have metal to get rid of too. A lot of people. Because that also can be brought to the dump. Um, but a lot of the stuff they charge for. You know, charge you uh, $10 a fridge, and they charge you for ACs and stuff like that. So, um, if I pick it up free, and well, if they just pay me, you know, for the simple trash removal, and I take everything, no matter what it is, 
just take the trash into the dump myself and then keep all the good stuff and go scrap that might uh might turn out to be something so we'll have to get on that see what happens